So this is on the S24 Ultra. I'm going to assume the S24s are the same. I'm not really sure. But if you go to video and you come up to the, uh, the settings icon, you come down here to advanced video options. And on my S24 Ultra, I got HEVC, uh, high efficiency options selected. I'm unfamiliar with this. I'm not a professional videographer, um, but I did a little research on that and found out that that is something that Sony Vegas Pro, uh, the version I have, Sony Vegas Pro 13, is not compatible with, um, but it is compatible with H.264, which is pretty standard. So you turn that back to H.264 and come back and you can leave everything else the same. And then Sony Vegas Pro works just fine with the video files that you record that way. Finding that setting on the S22 Ultra, it's the same but different. Again, you're going to go to video mode, tap on settings, and then come down to advanced video options. And here, not by default, uh, here's your HEVC high efficiency video, high efficiency video option. Uh, I never messed with this. This is off by default on the S22 Ultra. On the S24, it is on. So that's why you're making videos with the S22 or maybe even the 23. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, if this isn't switched on, you won't have any trouble getting your video editing program to read your video file. But if it is on, turn it off and then go back about your day. And now a good old handbrake here. I'm gonna do one file. And let's go down here to our test. We're gonna do, how big is this? Okay, we'll do this one here. 1103. Let's open this up. Okay, and now it can see what's going on here. Okay, so from here, uh, I really didn't have to do too much. I uh, made sure this was set for MP4. I came over here to video, and the video encoder I wanted to use was H.264 right here. I didn't mess with any of the rest of this stuff. I just left it alone. Come up here, and I do start encode. Back here to summary, and you can see down here, it's showing you uh, what it's doing down here. Okay, it's done its thing. Come back up here, and again, I have hope, because now I can see video up here. Well, Sony Vegas actually recognize the file. Let's find out. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And there you go, friends. That's how you solve it. Uh, hopefully this helps some of you creators out because I know I sure was ticked because I thought I had about an hour and a half of video that was no longer usable because uh, of the new codec. Yesterday, I was trying to make a video on an impact wrench review, and I had, had shot the video with my brand new shiny S24 Ultra and transferred the video files onto my laptop and then went to use Sony Vegas Pro. I'm still using 13, yes, um, which I've used for years. And this is what I got. I got this, and I'm already thinking, uh-oh, this doesn't look good because Windows is not really helping me out here with the preview of the video like it normally does. Try to drag and drop it into Vegas and I'm getting no love. Getting all the the red circles of death here. Um, and then you know you can try it this way too. Import media here. And then I get this. An error occurred while opening one or more files. The reason for the error can then be determined. Uh, so trying to figure out what's going on here because all the videos that I had made with my S22 Ultra, uh, they were having trouble with Sony Vegas Pro. One thing leads to another. I start doing some research online and I uh, have, you know, I can determine here that my file types are different, but I don't know exactly what the difference is or what's going on. 
I found a website that said there is a program called G-Spot. Yes, G-Spot can be used to tell you what kind of uh, video file you have and the codec status and all this kind of stuff. So I decided to have a look. So let's go back, click on one of these, and open it up here. It shows me that the audio codec is MP4A, which, you know, that's good. That's what I want. When I come up here, I see HVC1, name unknown. And I know that's not normal because it should be the uh, H264. Uh, I've been doing videos for a long time and I know better. So then I go to a known good video. And boom. AVC1, H264, and PEG4, and that's what I want. That's what has always worked before. That video I can drag and drop into here, no problem. <clears throat> so G-Spot helped me put my finger right on the button of the problem here. 